Hello everyone. I would like to introduce our recent progress in robot grasping. Any grasp, achieving human level grasping in clutter. Our problem is namely grasp post detection in a point cloud. So can we achieve zero shot grasp post detector? Our answer is yes. What is the bottleneck? of our community, we think it is the data hungry, that we lack large-scale and dense uh, annotated grass poses at point cloud. For general grasping, there are three uh, ways to achieve that. The first one is human annotation. The problem is the data is simple, label is sparse, and Evaluation metric is inaccurate. For robot collection, uh, we can have better data. However, the label is still sparse and it is expensive to, append, to obtain uh, the label. For the evaluation, it is also expensive. For simulation, the data is unreal which means that we have domain gap from simulator to real world. And the evaluation is also non-realistic. So we need a method that is accurate and have complete grass pose. It also needs to be low cost and gripper adaptive. Finally, we need real uh, annotations, which means it needs to be as realistic as possible. Our solution is named Real Virtual Twins Transfer. We will project object models to the point cloud during training. Here is an example. We have an object model. We generate grass poses on the object model. We project the grass poses to the scene. By this way, we can have a real point cloud with dense labeled grass poses. That is the example from another view. By this method, we can generate huge amount of grass candidates in the point cloud. And this means that uh, for subsequent task, we can have a large amount of grasp candidates. It is also low cost and can adapt to different hardware. To make our process easier, we design an automatic data collection and labeling process. First, we attach two cameras uh, to the robot, and the robot will move along uh, 256 calibrated viewpoints. Then, we collect a batch of objects, and for each object, we annotate uh, dense grass poses using analytic model. Thirdly, we'll annotate object 60 poles on the scene. And finally, we can project the uh, object grass poses to the scene level. Currently, we, re we release a data set that contains 88 daily objects, 190 cluttered things, 256 viewpoints, and has uh, 1.1 billion grass poses in total. Here is a comparison with previous data set. Our another contribution is that we also propose a benchmark. It has three advantages. Firstly, it has vi real visual input, which is different from other methods that 
evaluate in simulator. Secondly, our benchmark is standard and reproducible. Thirdly, it is low cost and does need a real robot. To evaluate the generalization ability of algorithms, we divide our evaluation set into three different categories, uh, namely thin objects, similar objects, and novel objects. That is different from the training set. And we also design a weighted score to balance uh, the prediction with different scores. We also propose a baseline network. Firstly, we define the frames on the uh, gripper. An end-to-end -end network is proposed to process the point cloud and generate a large number of grass poses. Firstly, our network will take endpoints as input. Then, it will output a binary score that denotes whether it's graspable for each point. And it will also predict which direction is better to approach during grasping. Next, we will predict uh, when we approach the object along that direction, what in-plane rotation should we take. Finally, we will have a filter. That means we will filter uh, the grass poses that is too close to each other and generate k grass poses. We also propose a concept named grabs prior, which means that in the scene, there are some points that should be grasped uh, before or in a higher priority. Here is something that we are doing. We are currently collecting more and more data, and we uh, plan to release them in the future. Here are some results of our method that compared with previous methods on our benchmark. Currently, we can achieve 1000 min peak per hour, which is human level, while DEXnet 4.0 can achieve 255 min peak per hour. Here we show some results of our grasping demo. Is another a result. We are currently actively uh, building a community. We firstly contribute a large scale data set. And we are also hosting a website where you can submit your data based on GraphsNet standard. And you can also submit your model to our evaluation leaderboard. You can find more details of our uh, measures and papers on these two websites. We are also building a community that hosts many of the algorithms written in PyTorch. In summary, Compared with previous methods, we contribute a large-scale and densely annotated dataset, and we propose a unified and accurate uh, evaluation metric. Thirdly, we propose an end-to-end -end network, and we provide 
a code base that is written in PyTorch and user friendly. Here are some publications. If you are interested, they are all available on our website. And here is our website. Thanks a lot for your attention.